Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I would love for you to consider subscribing. My name is Chelly, and today we are going to clean and decorate for Christmas. So Molly and I started outside and as you can see, it was very windy and the lights were not cooperating with us but we attempted to do it and if you can tell right here they kept falling off and um, I was just getting so frustrated so I went and got my husband to see if he could help us and of course he did and here he is so meanwhile he did that, Molly and I started working on the inside of the house and we started out in the living room and we started out by first cleaning up and as you can tell she is a very good cleaner. She takes after her mother. I didn't notice the toys under the TV stand until I started editing, so I cleaned that out after. Moving on to the good stuff. So here you can see us decorating our tree from last year. And I love this tree because it's slim and it's white and it's perfect for our small space. Uh, I also changed out the curtains because they were old and dingy and old-fashioned so I think this looks a lot better now so here is some new stuff that I purchased for our Christmas decor and all of this came from the Target dollar spot which really isn't a dollar but I'm super excited about this decor right here this is going in Molly's room. So for the living room, we used one of the table runners on the TV stand and the little boots that uh, are sparkly. We, we just left the tickets on there and just taped it onto the TV stand because I didn't want to put any nails on there. And if we use those other like holders, they were gonna block the TV, so this was the best way. And we just covered up the tape with the table runner. For the final touch, I added the little sparkly lights and that just made it look a whole lot prettier. And that's all we did for the living room. And here is my beautiful little niece. She's so adorable. Moving on to the dining room. So first off, we did clean up a little. And I kept it simple by just using a table runner and a frame that says, Let it snow. I really didn't know how to place it because this was my second year doing Christmas decor so I was just trying to play with it and see what looked best. For the kitchen, I also kept it simple and just used some matching antels on the stove.
and here we are in Molly's room. I'm so excited. So first off, we just started to clear out her dresser, which was going to be the focal point of the decor. So we started out by just clearing everything out and this big old globe was handed to her from her aunt and she uses it as a night light which lights up at night but it was going to go with the Christmas decor so we just decided to remove it for now. And so right now we're just placing everything on Molly's bed just to uh, get some idea of how we're going to decorate. But first we're going to clean up. One easy and fast way to cover up, I should say, those markings is by just using a table runner like you're gonna see here in a minute and this is how we covered it up and you can see here how much this helped to put that table runner on top of the dresser it just covered up all those little scratches and stuff like that Molly did when she was a little kid she didn't realize she was doing that until she got in trouble but here we are just putting the final pieces together getting Molly's opinion on where we should put the llama We're just gonna keep it simple and leave it like this for now and I was gonna put the fairy lights at the bottom but I am instead just gonna hang them on top of the mirror and just change out the batteries because they were running a little low but um, this is the final touch. the battery pack I just moved the dresser forward and stuck it back there behind the mirror and there you have it our simple minimalistic Christmas decor That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you on my next video.